and turn that around so that the money that is being used now for, in companies like Raytheon goes for healing in our hospitals during a time of pandemic, education for our children when they're so isolated and live with uh, police inside their school. Can we use the imagination that we long for to recreate? We're not going to have a new normal, but we can rebuild and we can build back in a way that all lives matter, that we are respecting how black and brown people are more victims of people like Raytheon and that we are thinking of the people in Lebanon, the people in Syria, the people in New Orleans, the people in New York, the people in India, the people in Japan. How is it that we have so many resources and so much love to give each other and that we create the war monster. Let's dismantle it. Thank you. I want to remind us all that there are American victims of the research that companies like Raytheon did. In my own family, one of my aunts, cancer was undoubtedly due to growing up and living near Hanford, as was the death of both of her parents and her siblings. They're incredibly careless with our lives, as long as the places where they're doing the research are not in their subdivision. And Hanford is just one of many spots around the country that are consistently forgotten, that are considered unpopulated, and they're not. They're populated by native peoples and they're populated by white people. They're populated by all people. There are just not very many of them and they're not very powerful. So we commit violence against our own country and against our own people every day when we support this industry and when we fail to clean up. That's pretty much my message. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Excellent. So right before I went to study abroad in Japan in 2016, my dad had told me that we should have bombed Japan out of existence. I visited the Nagasaki Atomic Bomb Memorial that year, and along with my fellow students, we saw the horrors, we heard the stories, and we cried together over the destruction of innocent lives for no reason other than misplaced hate. When I visited again Japan this past year, I visited the Hiroshima Memorial Park. There's a clock tower there every day, 8.15 a.m. When they estimated that the bomb had gone off, it goes off every morning. 
I think about when I grew up, what was 815? School. I was in class. Other children were in class. And they died there. No one. No one should have to live with this. I'm very glad that I live in a time where I get to learn about this. And I know my own family's contribution to this horror. But I don't want people to think, to be guilty or feel guilty about this, but know, like feel empowered by the past that we know that this happened and we have the power now to prevent it from happening in the future. We can say no. That happened and it should not ever happen again. So thank you for coming out again and again and again. And we will again and again and again come out and say no. Our ancestors did that. We don't have to be our ancestors. We can do better than our ancestors. Yes. And we can say, peace, heiwa. This is written on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Heiwa, peace. Hey wa. Hey wa. We want peace. Hey no one should die for no reason. Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Thanks, John, and thanks everyone who spoke. I want to talk a little bit about blasphemy, actually, which is something that I, I didn't expect to be talking about uh, today as not someone who's particularly religious and, and who has committed blasphemy many, many times in my own life. But a few months ago, John told me about an instance of blasphemy that really just knocked me back when he told me the meaning of the word Raytheon. Do you know what it means? It means light of the gods or light of God. That may be the worst example of blasphemy that I have ever heard. Even as a non-religious person, it deeply offends me to say that this institution represents the light of God, the light that Raytheon provides comes along with incinerating explosives that snuffs out the true light of God, which is the lives of our brothers and sisters around the world. Every day, we as a nation have been bombing the people of the world in countries like Afghanistan, Iraq, Pakistan, Syria, Yemen, Libya, and more countries, Somalia, and countries that we don't even know that we have a presence in, that, that our government doesn't feel that we have a right to know as citizens, that they can commit murder in our name and keep it a secret from us and say it's for our own safety. That's another great blasphemy. Like the last speaker, when I grew up, I was told, and I still hear it today, that the nuclear weapons that we dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki saved hundreds of thousands of American lives and hundreds of thousands of Japanese lives. It is a lie. Don't take it from me. 
the military commanders at the time knew that that was a lie. Admiral Halsey, Admiral Nimitz, General and future President Eisenhower, they have all said the atomic bombs did not hasten the end of World War II. The Japanese people were already suing for peace when we dropped not one atomic bomb on them, but two. The real purpose of the atomic bombs was not to save lives, it was a display of power. That is the truth. Now just, just a little over a week ago, Mass Peace Action received a letter from Raytheon. The first communication that we've gotten for them after campaigning for just about two years against what they're doing. It was in response to a letter to their ethics department. And they assured us, we comply in all our weapon sales around the world. We make sure that we're in compliance with U.S. policy. So rest assured that what we're doing is not illegal. We're just, in essence, following orders. That is also a great blasphemy. Because as you all know, our Secretary of Defense, the head of our military, before he took that job in the Trump administration, was the top lobbyist for Raytheon. That is the truth. Institutions like Raytheon have bought and control our government. That is the truth. It is a great blasphemy against the idea that we have a government that is of, by, and for the people. It is not. It is of, by, and for the profits of companies like Raytheon. This is a great evil that is being inflicted upon us and upon the citizens of the world, our brothers and sisters. Now I want to thank everyone who is here today because you know that we cannot stand silent in the face of such blasphemy and evil. We are going to stand against it. We are going to raise our voices and we are going to spread a message of truth and love around this country and around the world. Because love for one another, that's the true light of God. Thank you.